So right about now here in BC, the sun is starting to come out and it's getting nice and warm and sunny. And our back balcony gets a lot of sun and heat in the evening. And it's nice to just hang out there and chill. But there's nothing really comfortable to sit on. And you know me, I don't like to go and buy stuff. So I'm going to make myself a bench slash seat slash outdoor sofa. Yeah. So usually when I build my furniture, I usually like to do it in three stages. Stage one is I like to do it like a really rough drawing. And I mean, when I say rough, I really mean rough. So I, I kind of draw out what I roughly been thinking in my head on a piece of paper I and mean, it helps me envision for the next stage. So stage two is the prototype. And I know what you're thinking, this looks like garbage. And I know because it's made out of scrap wood and it's how I kind of envision the next stage. So once I've built my prototype out of some scrap pieces of wood, I then can kind of step back and envision what the final product is going to look like and then decide from there if I want to make it a little bit wider, a little bit higher, or change a few details. Seeing as I'm pretty happy with this and I know what it's gonna look like, I can move forward and start the actual build. Okay, so I made three of these uh, bases, I guess, in total. Because I'm gonna make the bench six feet in length, I want one either end and one in the middle to support the slats. All of it is made out of clear cedar to match some of the previous projects that I've done outside earlier last year. And I've wood glued and screwed each piece together and plugged each hole just to give it a cleaner look. So I designed this in a way so it's very DIY friendly to put together. There's no fancy joinery or anything like that. There's two angles involved, which is a 15 degree angle here and here, and then just a 90 degree cut here and here. The back is on a 15 degree angle because I felt like that was the most comfortable angle to sit on. And I made it 25 inches deep and this is 30 inches high off the ground, though it's kind of personal preference. You can make it as deep or as shallow as you like. I kind of wanted a deeper bench so you can kind of sit with your legs up and just chill. So uh, that's kind of what I did here. But obviously, if you were going to make this at home, you make it whichever way you want. So I've gone ahead and sanded the bases down to 150 grit, ready to attach the slats. And each slat is made out of a cedar two by four, same as the bases. So I ripped each two by four into one inch strips. And basically this is, uh, this is what you come up with. So I've gone ahead and brought the two end bases six inches in from the end of the slats because I kind of like that. I like the look of that overhang. And the way that I'm attaching the slats to the bases is by using these two and a half inch lost head deck screws. And the reason why I like these so much is because one, they're weather resistant, you can use them outdoors, and two, the heads on them are so small that the wood eventually kind of furs over them and then you don't really see them. And finally, for the gaps, I'm using these half inch dominoes, but obviously you can use anything the thickness of the gap that you want. For me, half inch, so these are perfect. And I'm placing them in between each one so that way I get a nice consistent gap each time and it's a lot quicker than having to measure it. And just like that, we got a bench, but we're not quite finished just yet. So I've gone ahead and sanded the slats down with 150 grit sandpaper. And I also broke away the edges by hand to take away that sharp point. And with the scraps, I built this footrest using the exact same techniques as I did with the bench. So next is to apply the finish to the bench so that it can sit outside and remain nice throughout the seasons to come. And for the finish, I'm gonna be using Benjamin Moore's Arbor Coat in Natural. And it's a stain, it works really well on decks, fences, and outdoor furniture. And I've used it in previous videos in the past and it works really well with cedar. It just makes the colors nice and pop and all the tones kind of stand out. And I really like it. I'll also be adding a second coat of the Benjamin Moore Arbor Coat Clear Coat, which is just a little bit added protection, especially on furniture where it gets a lot of wear. 
So the slats that you see here is a pretty common theme with a few of my outdoor projects that I completed last summer. And staining it was a little bit tedious trying to get the stain and the brush in between all these slats. It just took forever and I, I didn't really enjoy it. But luckily for me, I'm fortunate enough to team up with my good friends Wagner and they were cool enough to send me out one of their sprayers. So Wagner sent me out their Flexio 4000, which is a great all round residential sprayer. So it comes with a turbine, the hose, and the two different nozzles to accommodate all your residential painting needs, like staining decks, staining fences, painting your exterior of your house, painting the interior of your house, like your walls, ceiling, and the trim, painting furniture, and stuff like this. So I'm pretty stoked on that. So I'm pretty excited to get this stain, get some color and some contrast on this bench. So let's go prep the sprayer, let's take it outside, and let's get spraying. Yeah. 